Since the 1920s, breakfast cereal has not only been a major part of a balanced breakfast, but also the human experience. And with the rise of breakfast cereal came cereal mascots. From the absolute classics to the modern characters, we've met dozens of unique and intense mascots with a lot of different and unique stories to them. But some are, well, creepy, and others, they might be downright evil. There are actually a lot of unsettling characters in the lore of breakfast cereals. I'm Caleb with Wicked Binge and these are cereal mascots creepy to evil. We'll be starting with the least creepy and working our way down to the downright evil. First up, we have Buzz the Bee. Buzz is an anthropomorphic bee and the mascot for Honey Nut Cheerios. Having gone through plenty of design changes, Buzz has been around for quite a while, where he uses his magical honey rod to spruce up the human's meals. This could imply he enjoys spiking the meals of those he is around. Buzz is also shown appearing to those with bad heart health, probably as an omen of death and or change. This seems to be for good reasons, but one cannot know what the bee does. Humans love them. In recent ads, he appears to be multiple people and some don't know he exists, which implies he may be some sort of tooth fairy-like creature that no one believes to be real or even know about. Buzz, like a lot of other mascots, seems to have some sort of magic. And while he seemingly uses this for humanitarian purposes, it's worth noting that based on what we see, see, Buzz does seem like a good guy for the most part, as he seems to help those with high cholesterol or bad heart health. While this is a good thing, it's worth noting that Buzz seems to be a rogue agent, some worker bee with no connection to a queen. Not trying to be too conspiratorial, but we don't trust him. But let's move on to Toucan Sam. Toucan Sam is a large and colorful toucan that is the mascot for Fruit Loops where he has existed in some shape or form for quite a long time. However, with his now iconic catchphrase, there's a lot of interesting things we can deduce about this big bird. This iconic bird's catchphrase has been, follow your nose, for quite a while. Follow your nose. We're not the first people to point out that much like a lot of other mascots, his love for the cereal can go a bit far. In fact, people have noted that the way he acts is similar to someone who follows their nose to some white lines that isn't sugar. Toucan Sam was around in the 80s if you know what we're saying. This puts a lot of what he does into perspective as he tries to lead children to what we can only assume is his stash. Toucan Sam also also mentions that your nose always knows. Our nose knows that you might have a problem, Sam. Moving forward, we have Captain Crunch, the mascot of the eponymous brand. Crunch is the captain of a ship we rarely see, and when we do see it, it seems to take more cues from a pirate ship than it does a military ship. The catchphrase of Crunchitize me, Captain. <laughs> Crunchitize me, Captain implies that he has some ability to bring someone into his crazy little world, and we do see this in an occasional ad. Older designs of the captain make him look a lot creepier, and with how often he seems to groom his mustache when it comes to ad material, he gives off a cartoony villain vibe. Even on his own cereal boxes, despite his massive smile, he doesn't seem happy as that light never reaches his eyes. Also, despite his captain rank, he doesn't seem very reasonable as he's constantly crashing through buildings and harming those around him. But what really takes the cake for us is the Crunchlings. Thanks to some cross-promotion, the captain raises some sort of furry creature and trains it by forcing it through intense tests that require perfection. Captain Crunch seems to be a maniac masquerading as an admiral. Moving on to our next mascot, we have Lucky the Leprechaun. Lucky is the main mascot for Lucky Charms and may or may not have set the Irish back centuries. Also, he's one of the few mascots who is actively fighting off children going after his cereal. That is because, according to his catchphrase, they're after me Lucky Charms, which implies at best, Lucky is merely a hoarder who doesn't want to give up any of his treasure. 
They're magically delicious. At worst, Lucky is dealing with massive emotional issues, which is obviously not a good thing to pair with his obvious and continued magic use. Lucky uses his magic for everything, from showing off the powers of his cereal to stopping children in their tracks. Plus, calling his cereal magically delicious may imply, much like Toucan Sam, that there may be some illicit material in his cereal. Lucky is, pun intended, lucky that we don't really know the full extent of his powers or issues, otherwise he may fall much lower. Up next, we have the big man on campus, Tony the Tiger. Tony is a giant tiger and the mascot for Frosted Flakes. There have been plenty of people who have noticed that a tiger is not the best mascot for children, as a lot of animals will tend to, well, you know, maul little children. Right. Another thing worth noticing is that Tony tries to play off his great cereal as something used by athletes or something supposedly healthy. But when you get down to it, Frosted Flakes, like most cereal, is mostly sugar. Maybe Tony is trying to fatten the children up so he can have a better meal in the end. Jumping into the next spot on our list, we have the Trix Rabbit. As his name implies, this giant anthropomorphic rabbit is the mascot and spokesperson for Trix cereal. The rabbit hops around assaulting and harassing children around him trying to obtain their rightfully obtained cereal. As others have pointed out, the cereal tagline, Silly Rabbit, Tricks is for Kids, Silly Rabbit, Tricks is for Kids, implies some very dangerous things. He hops around like he's on some disturbing drug and steals things from children, really putting to the test that old stealing candy from a baby turn of phrase. In fact, when you think about it, the Trix Rabbit may even be trying to hook children on the things he's doing since he's so interested in their cereal reserve. You can't stalk and harass children because you want their cereal, sir. You're a rabbit and you're entitled to nothing. Moving on to the obscure, we have HT the robot. HT was the mascot for the hidden treasure brand of cereal, a now defunct and relatively unknown cereal. The idea behind this cereal was that inside each of the cereal pieces is a surprise for you, and that's where HT comes in. HT is a robot that only appeared in a single commercial. Fruit flavor inside where they were supposedly built to scan the cereal and find out what may be hiding in each piece. Being able to scan and see through things could lead to some interesting and very dark possibilities. Not to mention just how dangerous they look to be made with a drill-like head and radiation-inducing eyes due to what we can only assume is x-ray vision. HT is able to scoot past further inspection because of just how little they appear, but they still land here. Another Another more obscure pick for our list up next is Quisp. Quisp is a sugar cereal made by Quaker Oats with the mascot sharing the same name as the cereal. Quisp is some sort of weird anthropomorphic creature that worked as a rival to similar cartoon mascot Quake. Quisp was made by the creators of cartoons like Rocky and Bowwinkle, and as such has a lot of cartoon physics behind them. Quisp can swirl up their ears and spin them like helicopter blades so they can fly around. And if this this is the case, what else can they do with their cartoony physics? From Quaker! They continually annoy those around them just because they can. Quisp also seems to barely interact with those who are not in their cartoon world, but when they interact with those cartoons, it's always in a masterfully mischievous way and never really in a fun or even mascot way. In fact, Quisp is both an alien and a prince, who seems to care so little for their people that they'd spend most of their time on Earth selling cereal. Quisp is actually known for annoying just one specific dude, which implies that there is some sort of in intense hatred that Quisp has for him. Quisp is little more than a flying alien that only cares about disturbing the peace. Back to more iconic mascots, we have Sonny the Cuckoo Bird. Sonny is the iconic mascot of Cocoa Puffs and is one of the most well-known creepy mascots because of his classic catchphrase, I'm 
cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. This causes Sunny to seem like a drug-addled maniac who continually tries to obtain the newest batch of drug-laced cereal products. He is probably the most extreme and well-known example of a drug addict we can think of, and this is exactly why he ranks so low on our list. Sonny seems like he would do just about anything for a taste of that sweet, sweet coca dust. Sonny even seems to spread this like a disease in some ads and even in situations like court. Ranking next on our list is the group known as the General Mills Monsters. The General Mills Monsters are a group of monsters who work as mascots for the General Mills brand and the specialty cereals that pop up during the Halloween season. There are three main ones, Count Alfred Chocula, a vampire representing the chocolate cereal, Frankenberry, a Frankenstein's monster-esque creature representing a strawberry cereal, and Booberry, a ghost that represents a blueberry cereal. Monstrous chocolate flavor. Each of them seem to have a variety of supernatural abilities, like Chocula fitting into boxes, turning into a bat, or levitating objects. They all seem to be at least slightly terrified of children and small animals, despite constantly trying to sell their cereals to those younger demographics. Having these supernatural powers and aiming at children is a very interesting thing for these monsters to do, so it's no surprise they land here. Grabbing our bronze medal of evil is Sunny. Sunny is the mascot for the iconic Raisin Bran cereal, although they only really appear on the brand's box art. But in all honesty, the box is more than enough to earn our disdain. Sunny is a living son that carries around two massive scoops of raisins to stick in the bowls of unsuspecting brand biters. However, there's two massive things about this that make us put him so low on our list. The first thing is the obvious one. Sunny is a living star, and its presence so close to anyone would cause mass death within moments. But the other thing is that damn smile. Look at it. It knows full well what its presence will cause, and not only does it not care, it seems to like it. Sunny is at best a dotting fool who doesn't care for human life beyond virtue signaling with raisins, and at worst, a known mass murderer with raisins. Taking our silver medal of evil is probably the most iconic creepy cereal mascot, Crazy Craven. Yeah, this thing of insanity wrapped in a ball of fur and teeth is Crazy Craven, somehow the mascot for Honeycomb cereal. We're not the first people to talk about this monster, and we sure won't be the last, so let's talk about why he's here. This eldritch abomination knows only to eat and cause others to gain his own cravings. He has enough power to wrap the world around him, including the states of humans, just to satisfy his honey-based cravings. Crazy Cravings takes everything the previous mascots have done and absolutely blows all of them out of the water. Crazy Cravings is willing to bend reality and others to his will just so he can ingest the honey-coated cereal. We didn't even get into the position possession and transformations he does, because speaking of him too long may just summon him. But real quick, before we get to our last entry, if you're enjoying this video, do us a huge favor and hit that subscribe button and notification bell. We ask because we'd really appreciate the help getting to our next milestone, and we have lots more videos we'd love to share with you. Thanks so much. From one crazed creature to another, taking the gold medal of evil are the Crazy Squares. The Crazy Squares are the current mascots for Cinnamon Toast Crunch, where they are literally living incarnations of the cereal itself. We don't need to spend too much time on these creatures because they land here for one major reason, murder and cannibalism. Wow. They continually eat each other, sometimes at random, and even at times leaving child versions orphaned or even eating the smaller child versions. The Crazy Squares are a tribe of cannibalistic cinnamon-coated confections that care for little more than killing each other and speaking minimally just to prove a point. They only barely outrank Crazy Cravings and we can see arguments for swapping them. But let us know in the comments section who you think is the creepy a cereal mascot and tell us what we should cover next. Make sure to hit that notification bell and binge our other videos. But most importantly, stay wicked.